this one. Semenya is going to dominate at this event. It should have been the greatest moment of Casta Semenya's young life. Instead, it was a victory which catapulted the teenager into sporting infamy. Even as she was collecting her gold medal at the World Athletics Championships, her mind was elsewhere. Her gender was being questioned in front of the world. Semenya returned to South Africa a national heroine, but the damage was done. The shy teenager found herself on front pages around the world, abandoned by her sport, left in limbo, suspended from athletics as an investigation began. She wouldn't run again for 11 Your months. Your memories of London, tell me about them. It was great, man, you know, being a flag bearer. You know, it was, uh, you know, inspiring, you know. You know, I felt inspired. You know, it was good, you know, to walk there and lead the team. And then uh, winning uh, also a medal, being the only athlete there, you know, in athletics, to, to win a medal, it also meant a lot, even if uh, it wasn't gold. Could you have gone faster? Could you have won that race? Yeah, yeah, of course. Unfortunately, but the body, you know, couldn't allow me to go faster, you know. I don't know what happened. Yeah, so, yeah. So all I... those people who said, there were people saying that maybe she could have won, but maybe she was scared to win. No, how can you be scared? You want to be a winner. So I'm a dreamer. What I dream of is to become an Olympic champion, world champion, you know, world record holder. So, you know, I can't stop running because of people. If you have a problem with it, you have to come straight to me and tell me. So I cannot stop because of people saying, no, she looks like a man, this and that, you understand? So it's their own problem, not mine. Casta, thank you very much indeed. You're welcome.